Okay, it's Ray here, and uh, I just wanted to quickly do a video about videos, and uh, we're going to do a comparison between videos and doing a traditional animated logo inside of After Effects. And as you probably know, After Effects will do a lot of really high-end stuff, but it's an expensive software that you kind of need to know how to use. With videos, anybody can create videos with simple drag and drop. But I wanted to compare the two, show you how you do it in videos, how anybody can do it, and then how it's a little bit more complex and time-consuming inside of After Effects. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go into videos first, and you can see here we got lots of different templates to choose from. And so we wanna choose one that's fun here. This one uh, is, of course, an animated logo that we're gonna do. Um, videos does all sorts of videos, but I wanted to compare this because it's easiest. So I think we're gonna do this paint one like we did earlier. We'll just do that one again. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in and we're going to click on that and open it up. And then all we have to do is upload our logo. Okay, we'll choose our logo from here. It's gonna be this LTV logo. And there we drop that in there. We're gonna hit continue. You can change the color if we want, but we're just gonna leave it at the defaults, make it simple. It's already got music chosen for us, which is great. So we're just gonna hit preview. And then it's gonna bring up a preview, but we don't even have to wait for that. All we have to do is hit the create button, and then it's gonna to start to render that out. And it's gonna take just a few minutes, but we're done with our part of this. We can go on and do other things because this is done in the browser. It's not gonna slow down your computer like it would if you were rendering in After Effects, which can slow it down depending upon your computer. So that's the basics of how you do it inside of videos. And I hope you would agree, anybody could do that. That did not take uh, an animator. It did not take any kind of real effort. So let's do one inside of After Effects. So we're gonna start off on Envato Elements and we're gonna choose a template and we got a few different ones here. We don't have the exact same one, but this one here is a paint splash one, so I think we're gonna go with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the download button and download that to our computer, which will take hopefully only just a moment, depending upon how big that file is. Looks like this one might take a, a few seconds, not too long. We'll just wait for that to download. And almost done. Okay, and done, all right. So now what we need to do is we need to open that up inside of After Effects. So we're gonna find the file there. And I'm gonna open up After Effects, which should just take a second. And double click that, here comes After Effects. Now mind you, in order to do this, you have to have After Effects, which is another expense. All right, so here's the template. And you can kind of see it's a nice little paint template. It actually loads fairly quickly. Um, depending upon your After Effects project, it may load very slow. So what we need to do now is we need to find where the logo is located in here to change that. And so it looks like, oh, there, yep, okay. So it's inside of here. So all we have to do is double click that. That's gonna bring up our logo and you can see it makes a little box so we know where the logo needs to go. So now let's go grab our logo and uh, search it for LTV, and there it is. So we take that, we're gonna drag that into After Effects and just drop that into the timeline, and then we can get rid of the other logo there. Now, we wanna follow the guide that it had in there, so we're going to select this, we're gonna shrink it down to fit inside that box, which may be kinda small, but, um, yeah, we wanna leave it at the defaults. We, you know, obviously with the other program, with videos, we left it at defaults. Um, and, and obviously now After Effects does have more opportunities for you to make, you know, more specific changes, but you need to know how to use After Effects, you need to how to make those changes, you need to have the software, and you need to kind of learn how to use it. Uh, this one here has the, the uh, website on it, so we're gonna change that as well. And so it's just a simple change by coming in here and we'll change this to loganville.news, just like so. Okay, and so now you can see it says loganville.news, and we're pretty much ready to go. We're not gonna make any other changes because we did it very simply inside videos, and I want this to be fair. Uh, we could make as many changes as we wanted. We could change the background colors, we could do all sorts of different things. There are a lot more options in After Effects, but a lot more skill required to do them. So you definitely wanna leave that where it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to the render queue and we're just gonna save this to the desktop. And there we go. Okay, we'll give this the name. We'll just call it uh, LTV. We'll, 
and paint and there we go and so hopefully this one won't take too long um some after effects projects are going to take a long time to render some of them are going to be quick fortunately this one's pretty quick there we go and so now all we have to do is go back over and let's open this up inside of final cut pro so we can add audio and make any other adjustments so let me create a new project there we go and now let's find our logo animation that we created which is on the desktop uh, there we go there it is all right we're going to take that we're going to bring that in we're going to drop that into the timeline and so now we need some music for this because unlike in in videos it doesn't come with the music so we're going to have to come over here and we'll do a little search for music this time let's see oh, there it is music okay and uh well, I'm just going to put in a logo to get some logo-sized music there. I'm going to listen to a few of these. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Okay, I like that. So we're just going to download this one and drop that in here. And now we can go back over and find our music. There we go. And we're going to take that music and we're going to drag that into Final Cut as well so that we can add it to our timeline. Okay, and well, the music is actually a lot shorter, but let's give it a listen here. All right, there we go. So not bad, but obviously the music is way shorter than the video. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the timing of the video itself to make the music fit a little bit better anyway. Again, this is stuff that you can do with Final Cut and with After Effects that you wouldn't be able to do in the other, but again, you need both programs. And you need the skills to do it. So there we go. I think that's pretty good there. So now what we can do is we can render this one out. And I think we'll just put this on the desktop again. Keep it simple. Okay. So again, you know, with this, you need After Effects and you need Final Cut or some other video editor, but it does give you a little bit more flexibility. You lose a lot of the speed, but you can get some flexibility um, and you need the skills. If you don't have the skills, you're not going to be able to do it at all. In videos, you don't really need any skills to be able to do that. But all right, let's see here. Our video is ready. There it is. And no doubt about it, a very nice video. All right, so now back on videos, all we have to do is download our video. That'll take just a second there. And so now we've got our video in here. Now let's take a look at that. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, another really good video. Now, both of these videos are fantastic. However, uh, one of them, anybody could literally do by simple drag and drop and clicking a couple buttons, whereas the other one requires you to have After Effects, requires you to have a video editor, requires you to have uh, an Envato Elements account. The, you have to get your music separately. You have to be able to put it all together. Uh, the advantages are you will have a lot of opportunities to make adjustments to different things but you're going to lose the speed and you're going to have to have all the software and you're going to have to know how to use all the software, which most people do not know how to do. So obviously video is a huge, huge advantage there. So anyway, I just wanted to do this comparison to kind of show you what it's like to use one versus the other. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll see as I do that uh, this videos program is really, really powerful. And again, this is just for an animated logo videos the new version does full entire videos with their simple drag and drop and click system um, and i think you're going to be blown away by it so watch the webinar watch the videos on their pages check it all out but this comparison here just shows you how much easier it can be